Hey YouTube, we're at AutoZone today. The reason we're at AutoZone is because while I was at work, my van decided to <laughs> one. It decided that it needed a new part. So I'm here at AutoZone and I purchased the new part. This is a hydraulic timing belt tensioner. And the reason I purchased this is because I looked up a couple of videos on YouTube and I found out the answer to my problem. The problem is that I have this loud knocking noise. It sounds like it's coming right from the top, but it's actually coming from my tensioner. So, this is the reason why we're here at AutoZone. So we could buy that tensioner, go home right after work, and replace it. So, here we are getting ready to go home and let's go ahead and replace that all right so the first thing you want to do is you want to take off the tire so what we're going to do before we jack it up is we're going to go ahead and loosen up these lug nuts so we'll just break them loose all right so now that all of them are loose Next thing you want to do is jack the car up. All right, so what you want to do is find a good position to put it at. And there's actually a jack point. Let's see if I catch with the camera, there it is. All right, so now what you want to do is just lift your car up. All right, we're simply gonna place the jack right underneath that support. And same thing on the other side. There it is. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take off our lug nuts and the wheel comes off. Now we have access to everything down here. We're actually gonna have to remove this little plate here to get access to it. The next thing you wanna do is pop your hood open and we're gonna have to remove this plate here. So let's go ahead and take off the one and two screws it has. And the hook, this comes right off. It gives you access to your intake. And I just changed this power steering and it looks like it needs to be changed again. It's full of oil. I think I have that lifetime warranty. And it's pretty simple to change because it's right on top. But that's for another day. So what we're gonna have to do is also remove this timing belt cover uh, because it's on the way of getting this hydraulic tensioner out, which is right there because of all that plastic covering it has. So we're gonna remove that covering there and it is behind the flywheel so we're just gonna have to open it up a little bit to get it out and remove these little tap-ins that it has here to loosen up that panel and get that out to give us access and getting in there I just wanted to show before we continue you can feel the vibrations coming off of it you can actually hear it get quiet when I grab it. This is it. This is where the problem is at. Alright, so what I've done is just take off the uh, plastic tabs that holds this cover here. And just folded the cover in. As you can see. Just folded it in. Okay, so what we gotta do is take off the timing belt cover. So far I've taken off seven bolts. And we're gonna be on our eighth one. Got a screw here, screw here. If you can see it up there, and up from top, you have I believe it's one and two. Then you have this one right here hiding. So we gotta take that one off as well. Then this plate's gonna be able to remove. We're gonna be able to pry this open a little bit and finally remove bolts that's holding it together um, 
this job is not as easy as I thought it was going to be so I'm giving you guys a heads up if you are going to change this hydraulic tensioning you got to give yourself a good couple of hours uh, when it was when I started it was daylight starting to get dark already and I'm still not done all these bolts are 10 millimeter so I've used a 10 millimeter deep socket 10 millimeter uh, what you call it mm, speed ratchet with a swivel and speed ratchet Crestman that's not a swivel straight this one helps this one semi helps this one's to break them loose <laughs> and to try to take them off it's a it's a hassle it's a hassle because you got no room up here and from the top but I'll show you how you remove these all right so oh, the lights right on there uh, it's a little bit better so you got to reach in here to break them loose one two three then the ones down there and then use this one to get it here to get it behind the pulley and you gotta stick your hand right in here back here God, the frick I did it <laughs> but I think it is through back here and get it from back here so it's pretty tricky and like I said you ain't got no room and if you're like me you got big ass hands look at that freaking hands already stuck in there as a fist so you know I have my fingers pinched in together right there you can see my hand fat that's why it's a struggle for me but if y'all are skinny, got them itty bitty fingers and the itty bitty hands, like this is your whole hand right here. Of course, you're gonna be able to do shit. <laughs> Not me. So, give you guys some time. Oh, that's right. And I used a little short tan as well. Uh, because sometimes there wasn't enough room for the deep socket. Like right now to get that last one, I'm probably going to use the small one. This is a hassle, guys. I did not expect this job to be so damn hard. And here I am. Trying to take off the last one. And see, on some of them, you're able to do it. But on some of them, you break them loose. And they come loose. <laughs> Then we gotta do this doohickey. Come on. And hope I don't get stuck. Alright, so as you can see, we have access to that tensioner now. What we gotta do is remove these two bolts here. And the little trick that I did to hold this little cover open was. Use a long screwdriver and stick it in the way. That way it goes all the way through and it's sitting right up in there. Let's see if I get the light in here. See, there it is. You can see how it's sitting. Mm, I had it a minute. You kind of see it. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. So anyway, so let's go ahead and remove those. And that should just come right off. And after I broke them loose, uh, this is how I'm taking them off. You can either take them off by hand or you could do with a swivel. Uh, it's a lot harder with one hand, but I already got this one off. Now I'm going to take this one off with the swivel. 
Uh, and all I'm using is an extension, so that way I hold it with one hand up here, and with the other one I turn it. And <laughs> my fingers are fat. <laughs> I don't reach. <laughs> That's why. But on <laughs> in on reality, in all in serious matter. That's how we fat boys do it. <laughs> Alright, so here's the old part. And here's the new part. As you can tell, the old part has the little piston pushed out. <sighs> Golly. Yeah, that's pretty tight still. But, it's full of oil. So that thing is bad. You can see it there. Meaning the seal is broken on here. It's pretty busted. Well, you got to replace it every certain amount of miles. Uh, so anyways, here's the replacement. Uh, you don't want to pull on this tab yet. This little grenade tab. Um, but what you want to do is you actually want to... Um, no, you could damage it that like that. So the way I was doing it is with two hands. But I'm doing it with one. You move this back and forth like so. And you pull up gently and try not to pull it all the way out just like so I'm gonna go ahead and do some TV magic all right once your pin is nice and flushed like so what you want to do is you want to bend this down a little bit just like so because how that covers in the way you're gonna need to yank that out so I could activate the tensioner uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and slap that back on pull this pin out and put everything back in working order alright so I went ahead and put in the hydraulic tensioner uh, I went ahead and locked it down you wanna just tighten these don't over tighten this because it is aluminum block once you strip your aluminum blocked you're screwed you have to drill this to make a bigger hole drill this so the screws could fit in there now and then tap that out nice too much of a hassle safe than sorry don't over tighten and strip that aluminum out alright so now we're gonna go ahead and pull out that pin There it is, active. Try to get it out now. There goes my screwdriver. Shit. Dang. All right. Motherfucker. Whew. So, there it is. I don't know if you can see it, but it's nice and active. Ready to go. Let's go ahead and start up the van and give it a whirl. All right, here comes the moment of truth. We're gonna find out if that was the problem, if that fixed it or not. We're gonna see if this <laughs> is gonna be a fail video <laughs> or if it's gonna be a good thumbs up video. <sighs> thumbs down. Morning YouTube, it's Saturday morning. It is raining outside. Fantastic, another rainy day. So I changed this hydraulic tensioner. And the problem still persists. So I'm thinking maybe it's going to be one of the pulleys where the tensioner goes. Because I have, I have this stethoscope. And uh, what you do is you put on your ears. You put it on wherever you hear the knocking. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, this will let you detect where the knocking is coming from. So I thought it was maybe the power steering that might be going bad, but no. That was making a little bit of knocking, but it was in the distance. And as soon as I come down here and put it on the hydraulic, it starts to hella knock. 
just knock, 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 knock. So I don't know if the one I picked up, the replacement is bad, or there's something else that might be re needing to be replaced in there. So what I've done already yesterday, and then I said the hell with this. I'm gonna just do it in the morning. Uh, I went and took off the power steering canister that sits right here and just folded it in there. Uh, I took a, I believe it was a 19 millimeter. We stick it in here, right in there. And you pry it forward towards the engine uh, to loosen up the belt and take it off. It's the, that's the uh, the tensioner that you're pulling. So you're pulling it loose. Um, so you're able to get this, this belt off. And let me see. Now I'm going to take off this cap. And then, oh, the reason I took this off is because <clears throat> in order to get that cap off, we need to get this fucking crankshaft pulley out. All right, so I went ahead and took the serpentine belt off. I finally got that stupid plastic piece. Bye, see you later, stupid plastic piece. In order for me to get that stupid plastic piece out, I had to remove this stupid fucking pulley. Man, this is turning to be a big ass submission. Stupid little box. Stupid little boxes. We still got a couple of bolts down there. To remove that plastic <sighs> to finally see what the hell is going on in there all right I went ahead and removed this pulley system I re removed the first one which I guess was a good idea so like we could see if the uh, bearing is still good which it is and now I removed the second one uh, that way I could see if this one's bad it's still good this bearing is still good. Doesn't look like it's leaking. Doesn't look like it's rusted or anything. It's perfect. Does it move back and forth? It's perfect. And where this goes, it's right up here uh, because it's in the way for the plastic cover for the timing belt. <sighs> Yay, me. So now. We removed it from here and here. This was a 12 millimeter. This was a 17 millimeter socket. So now, I believe we have just this one screw here for the plastic cover. That should hopefully do it. You see, see, it's already all loose. Oh, found another one. So there's actually two more screws that we gotta take off to get this plastic cover finally off and see if maybe God, I really hope this is just a bad tensioner I put in uh, but we'll take this off and we'll see what's behind these doors or these covers and see what the problem is alright so what I did is I removed the power steering The tensioner is still good, uh, but it was leaking, so it's a good thing we replaced it. But I found the root of the problem. Can't really see it, but right there where the light's hitting at, that's the problem. Look at my timing belt. Holy shit, man. 
I'm surprised I didn't fuck shit up. I really hope I didn't fuck shit up. Here's my timing line. Here's the timing line right here. But there's no tension on my timing belt. It's a bearing's bad right here. All right, so this is how we're gonna try to get this uh, crankshaft pulley out. We're gonna go ahead and stick it there. Stick it on this metal frame. And we're gonna go ahead and crank the engine just a tad so it could break it loose and get that screw out. All right, so I had to go to AutoZone and go and rent this uh, so we could get the uh, crankshaft pulley out, the harmonic balancer. And the way you do it is you put it right in here. You get this breaker bar, slap it in there. You put another bar to give it support down at the bottom and then we're gonna break it loose without having the flywheel move so let's go ahead and do that all right so now that I have it set up like this it's pressed or anchored down with the cement or pressed down because I didn't anchored uh, and it's holding everything in place there now I have my other ratchet with a 19 millimeter socket and we'll just go ahead and loosen that up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down because I need both of my hands. So, I'm here with my cousin. We got a Milwaukee brushless motor. And we're, we can't get this motherfucker off still. <laughs> Let's go for it, Chacho. This is shit. Huh? It looked like the blue was turning. The whole wheel probably. I'm not the black, just the blue's turning. Huh? Nope, it ain't budging. You try to reverse right now? Yeah. <sighs> We don't know what to do. We gotta get this motherfucker off, but we can't get it off. I don't know what to do. Expands the metal. Oh, so it gets wider, huh? Yeah. Which leaves more gap. Okay. Got a little bit of a gap. Hopefully this works. I'm trying to torch the bolt. Even after torching it. Mira, esta, esta herramienta la vas a rentar en el, en el, en el, esta es, oh, esta, mira. Ahí la tengo. Still can't get it out. That ain't gonna do it. Oh my god, we finally got this motherfucker out of here. <laughs> oh, look, it's locked in here. It's so tight. You can't get it out. Um, we finally got it out. Yeah, we're finally able to continue. Uh, golly, we were able to do it with the hand tools. We were able to do it from that one. Picked it up uh, yesterday from Harbor Freight. It was 13 bucks. Hell yeah. Good job, Harbor Freight. Ah, and uh, that was him leaving already. Um, he was pressing on this on his foot, and we were both prying on it. I wish I could have had the camera recording. I just didn't have anybody to hold the phone uh, or my tripod. I don't. I'm not using that camera. I'm using my phone. Um, 
So next step, let's get that motherfucking harmonic balancer out of there. And finally continue. Alright, so now the crankshaft pulley should just come out. Here's our, <laughs> our bearing seal. This one, we'll keep it in place. And we gotta remove these 10 millimeters to finally get this stupid cover off. All right, so here I am removing the last screw. Okay, this cover's gonna come off now. There goes one of the bearings, there goes the cover, there goes another bearing. And this has a little access latch, so you could uh, access that screw. So, while well, we're waiting to take all that crap off, here's the bearing. Uh, here's the seal. see the uh, seal number all we got to do is get a replacement seal or bearing there it is hopefully come on has it all right so now we got this little plate and you want to remember how this little plate goes it's obvious it's dirty on this side clean on the inside inside obviously goes on the inside and it has its key so I just want to set this to the side and there's all our shit look at that now I like I said I loosened up that socket or I mean that that screw here it is There is our motherfucking problem. Bearings are gone. Wow. So, that's our problem. Now, here's our timing chain. Here's our timing mark. Oh boy, the timing is off. So we gotta line up this with the ones on top. And hopefully we don't fuck up valves. Is this able to come off from here? Yes, sir. Cool, that motor mount can stay in place. Nope, nope. Because if we want to change the pot, the parts, I'm sorry, the water pump, which we probably are now. God damn it. I hate to do all this fucking shit for one fucking bearing. Ah, that one still looks good. Still has a has everything intact. This belt doesn't look cracked. Man. I'm not leaking water. Fuck this, dude. I'm gonna just see if I can get that replacement idle pulley. I wanna record everything that comes out of here. God, that shit didn't damage anything else. There 
it is nice and clean now from in there. Not clean, but at least got all the stupid parts out. Here we are at Kaman Industrial with my boy Caleb. They didn't have it at Kaman, so we're gonna have to go to AutoZone and buy the $200 kit. Yay! We're gonna have to remove motor mount and all kinds of stuff, huh, Daddy? Uh, yeah. You want to show everybody your shirt? Let me see. Let me see what your shirt say. Let me see. Go like this, right there. Autism is my superpower. Woohoo! Caleb. I love you, me daddy. Okay, let's sit down. Come on. All right, here we are at AutoZone. Let's go get this replacement part. So here it is. But it comes with everything. I hate to buy this damn kit, but I had to. It comes with a new timing belt. There's the pulley I need. Water pump. The other pulley. And here's the hydraulic tensioner. Damn, I should have brought the other one and return it right now. Oh well, I'll return it when I bring back the uh, the tool to put all this stuff back in. All right, Caleb, come on, let's, let's put on your seatbelt. You want to show everybody that cool new tool you just got? Show everybody your cool new tool. New tool. Whoa, what is that? Whoa, so you could take off all the screws with a socket? by hand and you could put a fitting on the back that's awesome yeah all right let's go <laughs> all right before I continue any further uh, so I got the kit what we're gonna do now is swap everything out so what I'm doing is I'm I've already loosened up this motor mount I have my jack stand supported on the oil pan I took this off so it doesn't damage it. And while I was doing so, I noticed that my motor mat mount is bad as well. So I got to replace that as well. Uh, I noticed under acceleration, uh, my engine starts to shake a bit. I think this is the problem. So, what we got to do is we got to get this, I think it's a transmission module, the computer for the transmission. I took the cover off, it has two little clips right there and right there. Um, I believe this has three bolts on here. There's one here, there's one here, and there's one down here. In order to get to that... And we got to unplug this computer. First, what you got to do is remove your negative terminal so you don't shorten out your computer. Then what you got to do is unlatch these little safety latches or in place latches, little lock latches. And then these just pry out just like so. And now you have access to get to this bolt right here and it looks like we're gonna have to remove this wiring harness here that one right there in order to get to it so that just slips out and there it is there's the other one so let's go ahead and remove that one and this should slip right off. This hydraulic tensioner really led to something else and something else, which I guess is a good thing. I guess I found these problems before damage anything else. So here we go. Hi, Caleb. Hi, You're going to help daddy? All right. Let's go get our hands dirty. 
Woohoo! We both wearing matching gloves. Like yeah. You hold on to. Maybe you could get hurt with that one. Here. You are in charge of the power tools. You won't get hit, hurt with power tools. What am I thinking? Let me get this away from you before you get hurt. <laughs> Good job, Daddy. Thank you for helping. There you go. You're in charge of the ratchet. Hey, 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 never mind. You're pretty dangerous with that ratchet. You better put that back in my hand. Well, thank you. Thank you. Those are broken. Broken. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye. Alright, so there is one more. I took that one off and it's still locked in place. There's one right behind in here. So that's going to be uh, the fourth one that locks this in place here. So let's go ahead and try to remove that. Alright, I went ahead and loosened up that other screw. And this should just come out with a little bit of struggle. Uh, it's hooked onto the cable steel here. So we'll just have to release that from there. Uh, it looks like that's the only place it's latched on still. So we'll just hook it up, unhook it from there, and that should be it. All right, I went ahead and unlatched it. There it is. So this should just come out like so. <sighs> All these parts, man. This is a bucket full of parts. Another part to add to a bucket. Thank you, Jesus. Alright, now we're going to remove our motor mount. And like I said, it has these three bolts. One. Uh, just cut it with the camera. Mmm. -hmm. Two down there, you barely see it right there, and three right down there. All right, so I used my ratchet to break it loose, and I used my impact to drive it out of there. All right, so I went ahead and drove the other one out. Move this cables out the way. There goes our bolt. Here's our busted motor mount. That's why it's busted. It's not absorbing all the tension of the motor. So if the motor goes, well, because it's like this, it's going to be rocking back and forth. So that's why it's probably damaged it. Um, Cause it's going back and forth like this boom, 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 boom. so well now we just got to get this uh, mid motor mount out and we'll have so much access in here now all right so you're able to access both screws from on top here here's one the other one is mm, the way bottom ones in here Oh, here it is. It's right in here. Right in that little hole right there. There it is, you can see it. So you could access both of these from on top, but the one from the bottom, well, I guess you could probably access it here from the top, but it will be a pain because you have this whole joint in the way. Uh, so I suggest getting it from the bottom and these last two from the top so let's go ahead and finish removing this mid engine mount all right so i picked up this nifty little tool from autozone uh what it is it's a uh get down real quick sorry about that it's a ratchet handheld and you could put in a like the allen wrench type fittings or the uh, quick connect fittings in here uh, so you could finish driving this off with a power drill or something 
or you could do like I did hook up your 14 millimeter socket and this one's a half inch drive so ratchet so this is the conversion to the eighth slap it on there you have reverse and forward there is on reverse I believe it is nope it's on tight so we're gonna go ahead and put it to loosen actually I put it to tight now now it's to loosen and we're gonna stick this bad boy right up in here oh yeah that's sweet shit yeah that's hella cool oh I like this heck yeah it's easier than just turning the the, the socket I mean look at I mean what a ratchet just like this and it's driving this thing out otherwise I'd be turning it like this trying to get it out of there that was pretty cool sweet one more to go alright so I'm getting this tensioner pulley out there it is still looks pretty good a little bit of grease but it looks pretty good still seals pretty good at the back have my pops helping me He's staring at the horses all right I went ahead and removed the water pump uh, this pump looks like might be the original I think this is an original pump holy smokes well this pump's still pretty good um, I don't see anything wrong with it but we're replacing it because we have a new one with our kit although I just wanted to replace that bearing we ended up replacing the whole shebang it's the whole shebang there it is there's the water pump man what a hassle Jesus got a water pump for sale yeah all right so before we put on the new pump what we want to do is we want to make sure all of our surface is nice and clean so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and clean it with some scotch brake all we're simply gonna do is just give it a good rub just all on the fittings then we get our water hose spray it down a bit You just want to give it a rinse. Don't squirt it in there. That way you don't squirt no dirt or any type of debris inside. Uh, so there it is. Nice and clean. Let's see if I get a, gosh, better angle of it. Let me see. My fingers are all wet, so it's not really letting me do anything. Huh? There it goes. You can tell it's nice and clean. So, whoopsie, let's go and install the water pump. Alright, so I went ahead and put on the gasket on the water pump. Uh, I do not like it. It is tiny. It doesn't really fit in there properly. Um, but with time and heat, it will expand. It will sit in there properly. Uh, lifetime warranty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, I'd rather replace it one time in my life. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's get going. Alright, so we're down here. Uh, where the wheel well is at. 
and what we're gonna do is all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the hydraulic tensioner in its place all right so now all we got to do is just uh, bolt it down put in the other pulley the hydraulic tensioner pulley uh, mount the other pulley on the other side right here Get the light mount it right there and we got to put everything timed because the timing is off uh, I'm gonna have a mechanic do this someone that does this all day every day because my timing is off that's my number one and it needs to be right here and this cam fuck really screwed over here because that one it's my number one the lines up here and as if you could see that one's pointing maybe like at 10 o'clock this one's pointing like at <sighs> freaking 8 o'clock so they're off that one's pointing like at 5 o'clock I have struggled to get this sucker off and we don't fucked up the timing. I hope I don't fuck up the valves. That's why I'm going to just put on the pulleys and I'm going to stop right there. And I'm going to have this other mechanic that comes in and knows what he's doing. And set my timing up because he said the way we're going to have to set this up is we're going to have to move these accordingly and move that one accordingly so it does not jack up my valves uh, I really hope I don't jack up my valves man cause then I'm gonna need a valve replacement alright so now that we have our hydraulic tensioner in place we're gonna go ahead and screw on oh my bad the bushing fell out. <laughs> There's the bushing. Stupid bushing. This goes right in there. This goes right in there. So now, this sits perfectly in place with the bushing. You put in your screw. And there it is. You just tighten it down and the sucker is ready to be active by the hydraulic tensioner what we got to do is just pull that grenade pin out and it's gonna activate this like so but before we do that we got to put in the other bearing or the other pulley that the bearings went bad on the main source of the problem uh, we're doing a full replacement thank you bearing for doing a uh, full replacement but uh i guess it needed to be done all right so here is the one that we had to originally replace what i am noticing is that so my guess is that this serpentine belt for the timing chain or the timing chain belt was replaced at once as well as this bearing because if you notice the replacement is green as well green green and greened replacement the original and however is orange 
so I'm thinking they did a replacement on this bearing they did a replacement on the timing chain or timing belt for the simple fact that this was made in Thailand and it does not say Honda it says Mitsubishi Mitsubishi not even Mitsubishi but this timing belt is brand spanking new still look at that no cracks no tears the only damage that I see on this timing belt slash chain is like right here I think my lights too bright let me dim it down a bit there it is see like that's damaged these are starting to crack a bit but other than that see like these are starting to crack a bit but other than that I mean this timing chain looks pretty good still it's too bad that we gotta throw that shit away just because this bitch wanted to be replaced. This motherfucker still looks good too. Look at that. Fuck. I think I got a new bearing for sale too. I saw this motherfucker on eBay. This one. And the water pump. This water pump still hella good. Look at let me show you why it's good. Sucker's not shaking. The bearings in here are still good. It wasn't leaking water, meaning the seals are still good. Everything looks intact. And I think, I'm not sure. But I think this might be the original one. MPW. There's an MPW sign right there. Maybe that's notification that it is the original. It's made in Japan. This other one is made in China. <laughs> I can't see it. But it's made in China. So, lifetime warranty. Chinese. All right, I'm going to go ahead and mount, <laughs> finally, the damaged one, the one that we had to originally replace. Okay, so the way you want to replace this one, it's kind of flanged out as a little cup, so you can see, All right, so that little cup goes on the inside because if you put it in this way you're going to be rubbing bearing or the bearing housing so the way you want to put it in is this way so this little bushing acts as a stopper like that it gives you that much space in between the block so let's go ahead and put this in here and it looks like it has something on the screw <laughs> it could just be water <laughs> try it up on it but it's down there now so we gotta go fish it out all right let's give this another try so there it's in place let's put this bad boy in there see what happens because I like to talk in front of the damn camera get distracted Oh, that's nice and tight. I bet you it's nice and tight because it has all that shit on there. If we were to clean it up, it would be a lot better. But I'm at home. I don't have the tools I have at work at home. <laughs> God, 
that's starting to get hard. All right, so I went and hooked up my new little tool. I like this little tool. This little tool is awesome. Check it out. Wee! Easy. I was struggling to get that mother sucker in there. I should tell the easy now. Not bad for little tight spaces. All right, so there's tightening up. Since I have this fat ass bar, I don't want to over tighten it. So I'm gonna just stop right there where it's snug. I mean, I could, you know, but it feels tight already. If it's tight there, it's tight all the way around. Let's go ahead and move on to this one over here. All right, that's good enough. That one bolts on to the aluminum water pump. So you do not want to over tighten this because it is aluminum and if you strip this you're gonna have to replace the water pump fun right so that one's in there snug that one's in there snug this tensioner hydraulic tensioner is in there snug and I think that's where we're gonna stop for now uh, like I said <clears throat> we're gonna have a professional come and do this um, just the timing I really don't want to mess up my valves. I think by trying to get that <laughs> freaking harmonic, harmonic balancer, the crankshaft pulley out. I know we skipped a couple of teeth on the belt. So, I mean the proof is right there. This one's aligned at 8 o'clock. This one is aligned. 10 o'clock and this one down here is aligned like at 5 o'clock so I really hope I do not mess up my valves I just wanted to show real quick how it looks down here so here we have the hydraulic pulley so when you release that pin it's gonna activate this and pull on the timing chain. We are upside down from the car, as you can see. Uh, trying to keep the light and the camera visible. Uh, I'll just hold it right there then. So here's the uh, idler, idler pulley for the timing chain that we had to replace because it went bad. Here's the other replacement. Here's the other replacement. And the other replacement. <laughs> so, all brand new hardware. Here, here, and here, and here. So hopefully we have no more problems. And, uh... Yeah. Let's go, no more problems. Yay, no more problems. I just wanted to show real quick how do you reset the hydraulic tensioner. What you need is a vice grip. Here's my vice grip at home. Very, very old, very unique, very antique. So what you wanna do is just set it in there. You wanna make sure these little pinholes line up. Next thing you do is you compress it. <clears throat> this is the uh, one I took off. Not the one from AutoZone. This one's really, really, really tough. I think this might be the original. <sighs> it's tougher than the ones from AutoZone to tighten up. So now that you have it closed in, what you want to do is get a little nail, which I don't have. Alright, so I went ahead and made this grenade pin from a uh, key ring. Um, 
but I tried this before and it does not support the pressure that this has so there it's all the way through I'm just trying to keep it up because I know it's gonna bend like a mother so we're gonna go ahead and release it as soon as we get this pin back in place and slip my finger right through this little hole so it doesn't fall out and we'll go ahead and release the vise there there it is vise is released my finger caught it and there it is so you can tell it's not flat it's pushing up <laughs> this thing is giving out and it will eventually give away even more but that is how you reset the hydraulic tensioner all right i went ahead and bought the new motor mount and uh I'm already doing modifications to it. Um, AutoZone did not weld that nut properly. I don't know if we get the, get that on the camera. It's focusing everything in the background. That nut right there didn't weld that properly. So what we had to do is get a 1964 drill bit and drill this out so we have enough room to put our screw in there to lock it into place so that's the first modification I had to do already to the brand new motor mount there it is and I just drove it with the impact and now it's in there nice and solid and secured just how it should be so now, what we're going to do is remove this mount from here and place it into the new one. Alright, so I had to take this to the vice grip and break it loose. I couldn't drive it out of here. But now it's loose. It's still attached. Oh no, it's not. There it is. Bad motor mount. Alright, so there I have this motor mount complete. I had took all of the parts off the old one. Here's the pieces that came off of it. And here's the new one. And here's the old pieces. And it's ready to rock and roll. Alright, so I have the mechanic here. We're working on it, setting up the points. We got the alignment here. We just gotta set it. This one too. Okay. Now we're gonna crank the main crankshaft and set it to point. Está aquí el el puntito. Aquí mero. Hey, ahí se le ve una flechita para abajo. Casi nada, no. Pero ahí está. Pero el punto del del la um, del um, el, ¿cómo se llama? En el en el engine, en el motor. Ajá. Sí. Este, este va aquí, ¿no? Sí, ese es el punto. Hey. Yeah, the key's the center, so we gotta match that up with the line. Se movió acá el cam. No le hace así porque. Porque está pegándole. Sí. No le hace. Está bien. Oh, sí. Entonces. Uh, no se daña porque nomás lo está moviendo. Sí, no hay problema.
There we are. Mira, junto con este. Hey. Entonces, vamos a darle este para que. Este, este está más muerto que aquel. Ajá. Pero es. Vamos a concluir con esto. Fíjate que yo apenas puse una de estas. Ey. Este. Dice Alexis, como trabaja en el Chifilu, ah. que la vende mi papá. Ya, ya es tiempo de cambiarle la pompa del agua. Le uh -huh. digo, y este mismo proceso que estoy haciendo lo vas a tener que hacer en tu carro, papá. El mismito, le digo. Me dice, ¿eh? lo voy a mandar al taller. Papá. <risa> Ey. Le digo, va a estar bonito pagar. <risa> Pero cuando no se puede, pues por eso uno anda batallando acá. Okay, Pero este... se aprende una cosa nueva. Oh, ya. Yeah. No, 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 pues esto. Esto es así. Okay. Sí. All right, so here's all the parts we have to put back together. The timing belt is on. The timing is set. Everything is activated, tensioner is activated, everything is in place. We started up the van already, it ran, so we're going to mount everything back together now. Here's all the parts that we have to put back on. And here's the parts that we replaced. Actually, I'm forgetting one. There's the broken one. Everything else was good, except for that. But all these parts had to be replaced to replace that. <laughs> Garbage, right? So, there it is. That's what we're going to work on now. Put everything back in working order. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the timing chain cover back on now. Everything's in place, everything is in line. So let's go ahead and put that back in place now. All right, before I continue, I wanted to show that the timing cover is back on. And the harmonic balancer is back on. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten it down right now. I have my breaker bar on the floor and I have my ratchet so I could ratchet down and that should do it and we just got to put the rest of the parts back in wow yeah wow okay <laughs> all right so I'm putting on the screws on the upper timing chain covers I already bolted this one down. Now we're doing this one. I love this little tool. I've been using it so much since I've got it. It's freaking excellent. Um, after we do this, we're going to put the mid engine mount and then put on the motor mount. Put down the power steering back in its play. Put on those pulleys. Put on the power steering. Uh, pulley uh, we're almost there we're almost there all right covers are back in place computer is mounted back on just gonna clip everything back in actually I'm sorry folks I need to take these covers back off this sucker happens to go right in the middle between both of them so, I gotta take off these covers again, put this mid engine mount. Alright, I finally got that mid motor mount, and I lied. I did not just have to take off the upper covers. I had to take off 
the lower cover and the harmonic balancer. Well, you live, you learn. That's how you learn, by doing. So when I took this off, it was able to come off because I was able to pull it from the top. But to put everything back together, that needs to go in first. Then goes the cover because it seats on this. I don't know if you can see it with the plate. The seal, there's a little rubber seal around the uh, timing chain cover and it seals this so that way water doesn't try to penetrate inside. Uh, it's just a pre precautionary so that way your timing chain or belt is able to live its sufficient lifespan without any damages from mother nature. I'm sorry man, I'm tired. Alright, so I went ahead and put the timing chain covers back on. The bottom one, the top ones, the, the uh, harmonic balancer. It's right there. Now we put this mid motor mount. Uh, that one's nice and strapped down. So, next thing we gotta do is put in the motor mount. And that sucker is going to go in here somehow. <laughs> There's no fucking room. <laughs> We're going to make room. All right, so I am learning a lot of do's and don'ts. So, don't put this stupid memory, brain, programming, whatever the freak you want to call it onboard processing unit CPU for the transmission because you need to mount this motor mount first god man I'm learning so much about this stupid engine I'm forced to so now that I remove the computer module now we're able to mount our motor mount all right so just my luck as I was trying to put this motor mount on I realized that I actually had to take off this plate the original plate that goes on the engine mount or the motor mount um, so you need to have it you have to take you need to take this off to get these bolts down there and that one down there and this one up here where the hell is it at it's right here uh, because you won't be able to access it if this is in the way. So you need to remove this. Nice. So, hopefully we don't have to remove anything else to finally put the rest of the shit back in. As you can tell, I'm freaking frustrated. This is day number fucking, I don't know, man. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, today's Tuesday. Y'all do the math. All right, the motor mounts in place. The transmission computer is back in place. Nice and bolted down. That's bolted down. Now we're gonna put the little cover back on. There it is. Now, power steering. Power steering simply goes into place here. Put in the two screws. Just like so. Let's see. One, two. Just like so. All right. I have everything in there. Pulleys are in place. Bottom pulleys are also in place. Now to put in the serpentine belt. Okay. So everything's back on. Serpentine belts on. Power steering's on. Everything is back on. Except. For what I'm noticing right now, the power steering reservoir hose. <laughs> now everything's on there. So we're gonna just clamp that down and we're gonna start it up. I need power steering fluid. 
I need to add more glue. I just added a little bit, I'm gonna add some more. But there it is. Everything's nice and quiet. Everything's nice and good, up and running. My dad brought me some more power steering. And we should be good. That's gonna shut up right now. There it is. Hey, love. I love you, Daddy. Bye, Dad. <laughs> there it is, nice and quiet. It's because it was empty. Se lo tomó todo ya. It was empty. Swallowed it all up already. Yeah, there it is. Nice and quiet. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. There it is. Everything's nice and quiet. Job well done. I hope you enjoyed my long ass video. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go for a quick test drive. Make sure everything's functioning correctly. So far it is. so good okay okay I'll follow the rules there it is driving nice and smooth fantastic Yes. Thank you, Hans. You did a fantastic job. Well, you're welcome, George. Yes, sir, we did. Yes, we did. We did a fantastic job. Yes, we did. <laughs> My puppeteers. <laughs> this is the job that did the job. Right. <laughs> uh, just bullshitting. I'm freaking bored, I'm stressed, I'm tired. Well, I'm not stressed now. I got the sucker up and going. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy. It's running good. So that's how you do the water pump replacement, the serpentine belt, the timing belt, the hydraulic tensioner, the timing pulleys, the front passenger motor mount. What else are we forgetting? Power steering. <laughs> what else are we forgetting? Timing chain covers. <laughs> That's how you remove all that shit. <laughs> oh man. I hope you guys had a stressful view just as I did. Once again, thank you for following me. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching, and don't forget, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.